Kinase 3318, a digital classroom. This is a quick how to navigate the course lecture designed to assist students who are new to Blackboard and or 100% online courses. First, log into Blackboard, https colon backslash backslash bb9.tamucc.edu backslash. Under the My Courses column, click on our lecture. Please note that my screen captures might look slightly different than yours as Blackboard logs me in as an instructor rather than as a student. So where do we start? We'll click on our class. Please note that you will not have access to our course until the day that the course starts. So please do not be surprised if you do not see your course on your Blackboard account until then. Once you're in our course, the home page should look something like this. This is the notifications page or the welcome page. Right now, it looks relatively empty. As the course progresses, you should be able to see upcoming due dates and other events on this page. If you need to get into contact with me, you can click on the email button and it will send an email directly to my Islander email account. You can also contact me by calling 361-825-2169 or emailing me directly at michaela.boham at tamucc.edu. I will be in and out of my physical office this semester, but I get digital voicemails. So therefore, email is the quickest way to get in touch with me. Our course content will go through this section. Going through the course content, when you click on the course units button or the course content button, you will have access to the course content. The course content has been listed as five distinct units for this summer course. Please note that it is important that you turn in work on time. All late work will be subjected to point deductions. Please see the syllabus for further information on those deductions. Within each unit, there will be a folder with the unit content and a unit quest. Please see the calendar for all due dates for quests as well as content assignments. Each unit will have a quest. A quest is a combination of a quiz and a test. There are a total of five quests during this course. There is not a final examination. The fifth examination will be over unit five. Each unit quest is comprehensive. Quests one through four are due on Mondays at 11.59 p.m. The last quest is due at 11.59 on the last day of the summer session, which is typically a Friday. You will have 65 minutes to complete the exams. At the end of the 65 minute period, your exam will automatically submit. I would encourage you to use either Google Chrome or Internet Explorer as the internet sources to take your examination. My preference is Google Chrome. Some of the quizzes and examinations will have what are called hotspot questions in which you have to click on certain portions of the picture to identify structures and Google Chrome and Internet Explorer are the only two platforms which allow for this function. You may use whatever resources you would like if it is not another person. Please feel free to utilize your textbook, notes, or internet as resources for your quests. You may look at your quest for a period of 48 hours after the examination period for additional feedback, and I would highly encourage you to do so. This next section will be a quick Blackboard tutorial. We'll talk about some of the main Blackboard tools, specifically the primary toolbox in the left-hand column. The syllabus button has the official syllabus for the course. Please make sure that you read the syllabus on Blackboard. The course content button houses the content, lectures, videos, labs, assignments, discussions, quests, and blogs for the course. The calendar button allows you to look at due dates on a calendar for the course. The My Grades button will allow you to quickly look at your Blackboard grades. The Notification button is the home location of Blackboard when you enter. You will find course notifications, including upcoming due dates on this link. The Announcement button is where you can find announcements for the course. Announcements are typically sent out to students via email as well. This concludes the Blackboard Quick Access Guide. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Let's have a great semester.